Hey boys and girls, uh, welcome back to uh, Monroe Live. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the seats um, and how they work. People have been asking us about this kind of stuff for a long time. Normally we breeze right through it because we've seen this about a million times. So, uh, but today I'm gonna show you how a six-way seat works. Um, this six-way also has a lumbar so that it gives it two more, uh, two more uh, uh, functions in and out. Uh, we just call this a six-way seat with a two-way lumbar, but uh, Ford calls it a six, uh, an eight-way seat. We don't see it that way. So anyway, what we're going to do is um, I'm only going to be in here by myself because uh, um, Ben said something about being too big to, to squeeze into this thing. So we're going uh, we're gonna, to we're gonna show you how things are done. So the first thing we do is we usually take the skins off. These are sometimes called bags, and um, in this case, it would be the bag and a cushion. This part here is called the cushion. Uh, and inside here, apart from being having some foam and uh, the outside skin, this also has um, heat, heated seats. So you can see back in here, we're not gonna tear it apart too much, but, but uh, you can see in here that uh, there's a wire grid inside this uh, cloth. And that heats up just like your toaster. And that's what keeps your back warm. So <clears throat> this has been pulled out. We had to, in order to get this out, we had to remove the, um, the headrest. So the headrest is back in, uh, but you can see where it used to go inside here. So that's the seat back. Then you've got the cushion. The cushion is also um, heated. So you can see here, that's the, uh, the cable that goes in. Um, we didn't really tear it apart because in this particular case, the uh, seat heater is in the foam. It's, um, um, it's foamed over the top of uh, the, um, um, over the top of the, uh, the, the, the actual cushion, if you like. Mm, maybe I can pull this out, but I doubt it. Oh, maybe I can. All right, here you go. So there you go. That's just proof positive that there is a heater in here, but I just can't get to it. And this is held on with something called hog rings. <clears throat> I have no idea whether hogs ever got rings like this, but if you look right down here, you can see that this um, uh, band here has been hooked to the, um, the uh, cushion and around this band and through the skin, and that's what holds it all together. So there you go. Now you know everything you need to know about cushions and seat backs. <clears throat> so in order to see what's going on, we've had to do a little bit of removal and so, and bending. And that really was unhappy. It didn't like uh, being uh, adjusted, so we pulled it out. Now, you normally don't see your controls um, sitting loose like this. Um, normally, they're in a piece of uh, trim, interior trim. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a few things that go on in order to make all this stuff work. So <clears throat> what we're going to do first is to tell you that this module right here this is the smart module and this is kind of like controlling everything. We removed that and uh, when we removed the screws we noticed that Ford was using um, a different kind of screw. Normally when you uh, fool around with, um, with plastic you use a, a high-low. Um, this is just the simple high um, and it's kind of like a wood screw. You'll also notice oops, here that uh, for those that are into screws this has got a, um, uh, a partial dog, a half dog. <clears throat> so the top part is radius, and that makes it easier for the operators to put it together. This is one of the bolts that was holding the pan in place, and this is a really good bolt. Like I say, I throw rocks at bolts and whatnot, but um, this is a good bolt. It's got a shoulder, it's got Loctite, it's got a half dog, and um, it has a, a Torx head. Uh, uh, this is a 40, <clears throat> a number 40. <clears throat> but these, um, these are, are relatively, I like if it's, if it has to happen, I want to have the, this, uh, this kind of a bolt to uh, make sure that everything works well. So first off, um, let's, uh, let's show you what happens when you uh, push the buttons here. You can see a lot of uh, stuff in here, and most of it's black, which makes it tough. But right down here, you can see a little motor, and it has a little reducer. And then from that, you get um, a lead screw right there and inside of that plastic thing there's a nut 
So when you, uh, when you move this, if I, if I push the button forward, that little motor is going to kick in. It's going to go to a reducer. The reducer is going to go to a chase nut, and you're going to see the seat move. So that's coming from right down there in that little white motor. Um, and you can notice that it's really quite quiet. Um, in the olden days, <clears throat> these were kind of a noisy operation, but nowadays, no big deal. So that's what kind of moves it. Now, this is the, uh, this is the drive nut, the drive side. The other side uh, moves through a slave rod. So we can't really see that uh, because it's underneath uh, everything, but that's kind of how it works. Anyways, so let's move now over to over to um, what happens if I want to move the seat forward or back. So, or sorry, not forward or back, but tip forward or tip back. When you do that, you're looking at this motor right here. So again, this motor, and now you can see the reducer. So the motor goes into the reducer, which goes into this um, um, uh, pivot right down here. And you're going to see uh, these... Uh, uh, these uh, links right here, they're going to raise the seat up and down. So, uh, <clears throat> so let's have a look at that. So, so here you can see that this little motor here is twisting a shaft, which is going to then um, move these links up and down. And that gets you uh, two more ways, up and down. Okay, and you'll also notice that everything kind of moves out of the way as you're moving, so nothing gets ever pinched. So that's kind of like two more ways. And then, the, of course, the next thing you see is the back. So for the back, we can see that the back is moving backward and forward. So where's the motor? Well, it's right over here. You can see if we get in close, here's the motor. Here's the gearbox or the reducer. And it's spinning this shaft right here. So you watch. And you can see that that, sp that shaft spins, that's the drive shaft, and it moves the seat backward and forward. And then the last thing we've got is this button right here, and this is for the lumbar. Now we've stripped out the little bag that holds it in place to make it so that it's quiet and, and also to keep it from pinching itself, but we aren't, <laughs> it won't be too, in, uh, too much more um, in about a day or so. So let's have a look at that. So if we we push the little button here. This is the motor. This is the gear, or this is actually a winder, different. So you push that button, and you can see that the cable is shrinking. It's going inside the winder. If uh, we look at it in the other direction, you can see that it comes out. Simple. Um, and there's different ways of doing this. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes you use a, a winder. Uh, sometimes your little an air bladder will go in and out. Um, some have little twisting mechanisms simpler, similar to what you've seen here with lifting the seat up and down. But in essence, that's how a seat works. Thanks so much for, uh, for watching. Um, um, thank you as well for uh, all the support that we've been given uh, through the sale of those, uh, those bumper stickers. Um, we really appreciate that. Um, we're really approaching the, uh, the, the, the cost of the car, as it were. So we're, we're really, uh, really hopeful that uh, if, you, if you want a, a bumper sticker, uh, you'll, uh, you'll give us uh, 13 bucks, or if you're, if you're really generous, uh, $50, and I'll sign one for you, and you can have that back. Um, I, was also, uh, <clears throat> I was also asked if, uh, if, you're, if you're kind enough to become a subscriber, that would be wonderful as well. Just click the little button. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, keep tipping those cashiers, and we will see you again soon. Bye.